Hello everyone, I am Samantha Rose Sevilla and today I will be discussing about my energy saving and conservation research which is about the importance of cross ventilation for an energy efficient home. Philippines has been known to have a climate wherein heat prevails more than the cold weather, thus having a tropical climate. Because of this, we Filipinos tend to spend great amounts just to have a cool temperature and ventilation in our houses. We exercise more the use of air conditioners, electric fans, or resort going to cafes and malls with good air conditions and spend the comfort just so we live comfortably in our homes and not be a victim of unnecessary and unproductive sweats. This tends to result in disastrously high electric bills which is a double problem since you get to spend for the devices and the places you go to give you good comfort and at the same time, you get to pay for the excessively high electric bills. It is a big demand from the Filipinos which is why I have researched a certain undervalued way of saving energy not just in your homes but everywhere in the community. Cross ventilation, also known as wind ventilation, is a natural method of cooling. From the name itself, the system works in a way in which it depends on an inlet like a gable, open window, or a wall lower. For the wind of cool exterior air to enter a building, therefore expelling the warm interior air through an outlet, such as a roof vent or higher window opening. This kind of ventilation drives air from openings at one side of a building through to the other, therefore giving cool air ventilation to many different parts of a certain building, house, or an architectural structure. With this kind of system, it helps increase the flow of cool air going inside and expelling the hot air going outside which gives the building airflow naturally. It is also the easiest, most common, and often least expensive form of cooling. Successful wind ventilation is determined by having high thermal comfort and adequate fresh air for the ventilated spaces while having little or no energy use for the active cooling and ventilation. There are a lot of pros in applying the crosswind ventilation system. What's amazing about it is it doesn't just give cool ventilation and good atmosphere to one area, it has a wide scope, which can include several other rooms or a large room. With this kind of system in our homes, we could save ourselves from using air conditioners, saving electric consumption, and energy, therefore saving us money from paying energy bills, and most of all, reduce green gas emissions. It also relies on natural elements such as air compared to artificial air by air conditioners, and can be applied to almost any climate. But despite the effectiveness of cross ventilation, we must be able to get some certain elements right such as the season, the direction, and the amount of wind, the potential passage of air through these vents, chimneys, and other openers, their positioning, and how well wind is able to travel in the building. According to a study made by the Cambridge University team, it was found that the ventilation system can be flawed, and the resulting heating bills can be disastrously big, which is in accordance with the climate. However, a pre-mixing of fresh air with warm room air is usually achieved using low energy mixing tanks immediately beneath high level vents, which can also help the natural air pass through inside and out. Then, in summer, fans can be turned off without compromising the air vents. Aside from that, we need to consider the size of the inlet and outlet. They must be in equilibrium in terms of size, design, and as such to provide a successful ventilation system. The amount of heat to detach from a certain building, house, or infrastructure is directly affected by those areas. If the inlet and outlet areas are bigger, then more air can travel through, meaning more heat can be removed and vice versa. However, discomfort would be created when equality is observed meaning the air that was coming in was higher than was going out and vice versa, which is why an equal amount of airflow volume going into a building as exiting the building is the ideal outcome. Now you know all about the cross or wind ventilation system. Hopefully, we will be able to apply this system when it is time for us to purchase our homes, or even yet in our present homes. It will save you a whole lifetime of energy consumption. I hope you learned something from this video. Thanks for watching. Bye!